Of course it was a fine day in the Greenwood, because days in the Greenwood are always fine. They're always sunny. It's always summertime. And Robin Hood, the outlaw band, were competing with each other to see who was the greatest archer. And of course, they had done this many times before. And they had all shown off their considerable prowess with the bow and arrow against each other. Little John said, there is a fire at Fountain's Abbey. He is a good shot for the bow. Robin was intrigued by this, and because he needed someone else to compete against, he decided he would go and find the fire. So he set off towards Fountain's Abbey, looking for the fire, who was also a great archer. He came to a river, and there, sitting on the river bank, was a poorly dressed fire with described as a broadsword and a buckler, a small a small shield. Robin said to the fire, I must needs cross the river. Will you carry me across? And the friar agreed. So Robin climbed up onto his back and the two crossed over the river. The friar having waded through the cold water. The friar said, Now I am on the wrong side. You must carry me back. So Robin laughed. The friar climbed on his back. Robin waded through the water and took the friar back to the first bank. And Robin said, once more, I must get to Fountain's Abbey. So once again, Robin climbed up on the friar's back. But this time, as the friar waded through the cold water, when he got halfway across to the deepest part of the river, he dropped Robin in the cold water. The friar tucked swam to one part of the bank and Robin Hood swam to another part of the bank. Robin picked up his bow and arrow, knocked an arrow to his bow and fired, but with such skill and such cunning that he deliberately missed Martin. Friar Tuck was angry with this and the two began to fight. And Robin pulled out his horn and gave one blast on his hunting horn. And of course, in response to this, half a hundred of Robin's men appeared out of the woods. That friar took put his fingers, I've never managed to do this, put his fingers in his mouth and gave a high-pitched whistle. And half a hundred hunting dogs, fighting dogs, responded to their master's whistle, one dog for each man. And each of the outlaws took his bow, took his arrow, and went to loose an arrow at the dogs. But the dogs were clever, and the dogs were trained, and the dogs could jump up and catch an arrow in the mouth. But little John who of course was an excellent archer, quickly loosed half a dozen arrows so half a dozen dogs lay dead upon the ground. At Robin Hood, Little John, Will Scathlock, Much the Miller's son, they were all so impressed by the strange friar that they invited him to join their outlaw band. And the friar agreed without a second thought. And that is the story of how Friar Tuck came to join the Murray men in Sherwood Forest. And it's a strange tale. 
for Robin and the friar had fought, and neither could best the other. And they had both been soaked to the skin in the cold waters of the river. But Friar Tuck joined the outlaws. So perhaps he was a friar because he wasn't really obedient enough to be a monk. Maybe. Let's think about that one. Hmm. It's another story we will meet. Alan Adale and Maid Marian. But the original stories do seem to be very different and a lot sharper than the adaptations that we know. Hmm. I like them. Hope you do too.